Hey everybody, it is Wednesday. We are in, in uh, week three of our study in 1 John, and we're still looking through chapter three of what it means to be loving, what it means to, to have the light of love in our hearts. I saw this quote by Charles Spurgeon as he uh, preached out of John 3. Our passage today is in John 3, chapter 17 through uh, 24. And one of the things we saw in, in our last reading is, is how the world doesn't understand the, the love that we have. The world doesn't understand it. But there's a standard by which we ought to love. I want to mention back a verse that, that you, you read yesterday. It was John, 1 John three sixteen. It says, By this we know love, that he, Jesus, laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. There's a standard by which we ought to love. The, the love that we, we have should not just be, you know, in our hearts just feeling. It should be love that is acted upon. And Charles Spurgeon said this when preaching this passage. He said, true love is not satisfied with expressing itself in words. Love must express itself in deeds. Love delights in sacrifice. Love rejoices in self-denials. The more costly the service, the better love is pleased to make it. John continues this, this chapter. He continues uh, chapter 3 by saying, The evidence that people know that, that you're saved is, is by how we act. If, if, we, if we don't act on love, how will people know that we are filled with the love of God? So our heart needs to be close to God, but our actions need to, to, to display that love to others. The evidence that we have, the evidence that, that people know that we are of God is how we keep God's commands, how we love others. Not just by simple talk, not just by, hey, I read my Bible today and boom, I got it done. It is by how we act, how we love, how we serve others. Because if we are to be the hands and feet of Jesus, if we're to be God's light to the world, then it needs to be action. It needs to be shown and by the way we talk. I hope that, that you are encouraged by this message. I hope that, that you are continuing uh, to read with us in John, uh, 1 John chapter 3. We will continue on this study tomorrow. We'll hope to see you there.